Good morning, incoming ninth graders to Bayview High School. This is Bayview High School. Bayview High School was built in 1914, one of the oldest schools in Milwaukee in our district. This is the outside, as you can see. My name is Mr. Cookhouse. I'm one of the assistant principals here. I'm welcoming you to Bayview High School. We look forward to having you here this year. This is where you will enter the building when school does resume. Right over here, this is called Door 1. So be familiar with it. We're gonna take you on in, show you a lot about our school, some of the areas you'll be learning in, some of the areas that you'll be trans walking through, gyms, pools, all that good stuff. Why don't you come on with me in the building? So welcome, incoming freshmen. My name is Mrs. Blackwell. I am one of the assistant principals here at Bayview High School. This is the area where you will be entering the school, as Mrs. Cookhouse said, this is door number one. This is the uh, foyer of the school, which was built in back in 1979. Um, one tidbit is, is, I did go to school here, and you'll hear me say it again in the video. Um, when you do enter the building in door one, you will be handing over your cell phones, um, you will be going through a scanner, and then you will make your way down into the cafeteria where you can either hang out with your friends before school starts or you can eat your breakfast. Right, freshmen, I hey. want you to see our big gymnasium here at Bayview High School. This is where all our basketball games are, our volleyball games are. This is where many of our students have their Phi Ed courses in here. So as you can see, it's big, big, huge gym. We like to have big crowds here for our basketball games. Make sure you're doing well in school so you're invited to all of our basketball games as well as other sporting events that are held here in our field house. Uh, this was built in 1979. This is part of the newer part of the building. You will have an opportunity to have gym in here, I'm certain, if not freshman year, then sophomore year. So just be well prepared, be excited, and go Red Cat! This is the second floor of Bayview High School right here, right outside the main office and guidance office. Here's some of the trophy cases and some of the accolades Bayview has received over the years. If you ever need to find a guidance counselor, the guidance suite's right here, room 215 on the second floor. As you can see, we got some paintings and pictures and portraits of old Bayview students. Right inside this door, you're gonna find our social worker and our psychologist. So any students who are in need of those services, this is the area to find them on the second floor, again, in suite room 215. So this area is the Bayview Auditorium. This is a very beautiful and historic auditorium. It's very large. We like to get together for all school gatherings in here. We had a great black history program this school year. The entire school was invited to what a wonderful performance. The acoustics in this particular theater are what's known as a vaudeville theater. And what it does is it helps create a nice balance of your voice and your speech when you're on the stage presenting to others. So this will be another area that we will use as a shared space throughout the school. There's Miss Blackwell by one of our lovely murals. It helps you sing. And she's very talented, we know that. Uh one, two, three. This is the main office. This is where you will come if you need help with transportation. Not for guidance, that's a different office. And, that's, no, I didn't do that right now. I, I, I this is the main office. You will probably not need to come here as much because everything you need to know will be done by guidance. I'm walking towards our attendance office, which you will go to if you are called to go home or for an emergency, what have you, or to make a phone call if we are allowed to. This is also, our- Also, if you're late to school, you do have to report here to get a late pass. You'll come right out in here. Talk with Ms. Wrench, our tenant secretary, get your pass, and off to class in the learning. This is the art gallery that we have in within Bayview High School. Um, during the school year, we have exhibits. Um, the artist in residence has her or his um, final exhibit in here, as well as um, learning goes on in here if the teachers want to utilize that. This very seat that I'm sitting on was a collaboration between Bayview Montessori and Bayview High School. These seats will go into a garden that Bayview Montessori has created for their school. 
Just a little bit of the collaborating we do here at Bayview High School with the surrounding schools. Freshmen, I wanted to show you another exciting part of Bayview High School. This is our fitness and exercise area. All the equipment here was donated last school year, it's right in the beginning from the Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, a foundation out of Baltimore, Maryland. The person who helped set up this gym helped run several of the Under Armour gyms all across the nation. So he showed us how to do different activities and workouts. If you are on sports teams, this will be an area where you come work out with your coaches. This also might be an area your gym teacher would take you to to teach you some other ways to exercise and just keep your health at its peak. This is the Baby High School cafeteria. This is where you will come and eat lunch and in the morning after you have given us your cell phones, you will come down here to congregate before classes start. It's a good time to hang out with your friends and talk to them before the school day begins. Your expectations in the cafeteria is that you should get your food, you should find your friends, go sit down, you do not need to run around. During lunchtime, you should probably stay in your seat, that's the best place for you. And when the bell rings, you will proceed to your next hour of class. There are three lunch hours, A, B, and C. So um, depending on when you have your classes, you will be in the room. Students, this is also another gym that's here at Bayview. We actually have three gyms. I showed you the main one upstairs. This is one of the auxiliary gyms down here in the basement. This is also used during our lunch session. So there will be lunch tables in here during the school year. Why don't you follow me right on this way? We'll go right through this door. I want to show you where we have another workout area, our weight room, which our football team, basketball team, volleyball, soccer team, we all like to use baseball. Welcome, welcome. Let's take a look. This is our brand new weight room with all new equipment that again was donated last year from the Cal Ripken Junior or Cal Ripken Senior Foundation. In this gym over here, we offer lunch ball. So students who are behaved and do what they're supposed to do during the school day are allowed to play basketball during their lunch hour. Very popular. Make sure you're to class on time. Make sure you're behaving in your classes and you can participate in lunch ball every day. I actually like to see all the young men and women get out here and play ball. It's fun for them and it's an opportunity to get a little exercise during the school day outside of your gym classes and your regular classes. Okay, so this is one of the two pools that we have here at Bayview High School. This is the female pool section and there's a male pool section. Um, one FYI, I learned to swim in this very pool back in the early 80s, um, and it was a wonderful experience. All freshmen must take swim. Freshmen have a very interesting opportunity here at Bayview. This is what's known as our Pro Start Lab. This is run by Miss Sims. What you will learn here in this lab is the fine skill of culinary arts. Matter of fact, we have many students leave with an extra part of their diploma that says they are certified in culinary arts. You will learn how to cook, prepare, and serve elegant meals, not just to your classmates, but also to the staff here. So, I would recommend any student interested in culinary arts, sign up as soon as you can for the Pro Start program with Miss Sims. Thank you. This is one of the three art rooms that we have here at Bayview High School. Um, this one is occupied by Mr. Coppersmith, who is a very, very good art teacher. Um, I used to be an art teacher for 18 years, and this was the best place in the school. And as freshmen, you know that this is the place that you will want to be. Make sure you sign up for art. Three. Freshmen, this is another great resource here we have at Bayview High School. This is our College and Career Readiness Center. While you won't be in here too much as a freshman, as your years progress in high school, this will be so exceptional in your help toward guiding you toward college or other post-secondary learning options. We also have several internship programs that you can apply to in here. The person who runs this room is named AJ McDonald. Very nice lady, very very much knowing how to get into college, get grants, uh, find scholarships. So this is an area that you will want to be, not necessarily freshman, sophomore year, but junior, senior year, when you want to get internships or other college opportunities or any credits, this is where you want to be. So make sure you touch base. This is on the first floor, College and Career Readiness Center. 
This is one of the three art rooms that I had expressed earlier, but this is the maker space. This space is used by all teachers in the building to incorporate the arts into their curriculum. Um, I used to be the person that was over this room, but we'll have a new person that takes hold and creates with the curriculum teachers. Here's a little bit of the authentic student artwork the students were doing with the artist in residence. Really wonderful artwork. These are actually windows that they painted on. Old windows that were going to go to no good use and they used them for something good. Welcome back Red Cats, especially our freshmen. This is our freshman math room right here. This is Ms. Schumacher's room. We're going to learn all about algebra. Some of the foundational skills you've been working on in middle school will build up to this particular class. Algebra is an essential class to graduate high school. And as you know, math can be very difficult, so you need to stay on working on assignments, making sure you're turning in homework and classwork. Because when you miss one sequential step in an algebraic lesson, you fall significantly behind. So remember paying attention to details specifically in this class. Again, a lot of work on the smart board. You'll get to know Ms. Schumacher. This is on the third floor. All of our math classes are on this third floor. You'll meet all of our math teachers throughout the years. A lot of great teachers in this uh, department and on this floor. And we will move on along. Three. Welcome back, Red Cats. This is the other side of the third floor. The third floor on one side is all the math department. On the other side, it's going to be our English language arts department. This room right here is Mr. Bitson's room. He's one of our freshman instructors. You will work on English 9 in here. As you can see, he has several materials around the room to help support the learning in here. On this back wall over here, we have some of the great authors and poets of the past. Um, as you can see, he has several things on the wall to help you when you are doing your writing. You're going to learn how to become a great writer as a freshman and all the way through high school because when you get to college, you need to have a great sense of writing. In every single class in college, you will need to have the skill set of great writing. So just learn and hone in on the skills he's going to teach you and make sure you perfect them so that you use them for the rest of your life. I use tenets that I learned in my ninth grade English language arts class on my master's degree. So just remember that. They go all the way through higher learning, which you learn right now in ninth grade. Good luck. Students, freshmen, this is another great resource our school has. This is known as the VFZ, also known as the Violence Free Zone. What we have is we have a group of people here that work as mentors for our young people, especially our freshmen, and help guide you in the right direction. Are you getting your classwork done? Do you have any issues within the school? They will often mediate and, res and find resolutions for issues among students in the school. Two girls are having an issue that could lead to a physical altercation. You come down here, meet with BFZ, we'll hold a mediation, we find an agreement, and we move forward. This is a great resource here that helps prevent issues within our school setting. Not just that, but you can use, utilize any person in here to be a resource to you and help guide you for different issues you may have in your high school career, not just in high school, but also outside. Feel free to talk to people in here. It's a great place to be, uh, but also make sure that you develop a relationship with someone specifically in here so that you can have a pass to be in here. This is a place I think you really like to meet, uh, Je uh, Leah, who runs it here, and just a really safe place to be. Hello, freshman again, Mr. Cookshouse again here. Uh, we've made it all the way up to the fourth floor for a virtual tour. The fourth floor contains two different class content areas. You will have your social studies up here and your, all your science classes will be up here. What we're looking at right here is part of our science wing. As you can see, there's different things on the wall that help support the science learning. All the way down the hallway and back, we have chemistry, we have physics, we have physical science, and freshmen are gonna be in biology. And I'm gonna take you right on in here. This is one of our freshman biology rooms where you will have instruction and do your labs uh, from Ms. Rothenbach. Why don't you come on in and take a look. Nice corner, got plenty of good viewing in here, nice big room. Ms. Rothenbach will have you doing several different experiments, learning about different biology uh, terminology, mitosis, learning about cells, all types of good stuff. Here's some authentic student work from last school year if you wanna see regarding cancer and how it affects uh, people in different types of cancer, as a matter of fact. So you'll research many different things in here, and you'll put it together in the culmination in some form of a project. All right, we're gonna move along over to social studies now. Three. Welcome students. This is the other side of the fourth floor here at Bayview. It's our social studies wing. Fancy word for social studies. is easier term is history, it's history class. As you can see, we have authentic flags from all over the, all over the world on the walls painted by students years ago. 
There's several different authentic student artwork all along the walls here to showcase some of the great things we do. Right here, room 411, matter of fact, is going to be a room where the majority of you will have your first year of social studies. Why don't you come on in this Miss Mudlaff's room? As you can see in Miss Mudlaff's room, you will be learning citizenship, the historical significance of being a citizen in the United States. If you look around the wall, she has several historical figures from the past and present to help support the learning in here. And I always had a great passion for history and social studies. I like to learn about where we came from and how we got to where we are to this point. So be excited about this. This will be a fun class for you guys. And uh, looking forward to having you up here on the fourth floor. You'll see Miss Blackwell out up here. You will see me. Can't hear me. What we'll do is we'll do the intro first. And then we'll do the intro's me and you outside. 